So I left the hotel where my dad stayed. Uh, now I'm heading over to my mom's bridal shower with my friends Kyle and Quincy. Do I think I can convince my mother into not marrying Clarence? No, I do not. But I do think that I can convince her into believing that she can trust her son. Yes, I do. Yes, I do believe that. And it's really my hope in her uh, not getting married to that dude tomorrow. Kyle says to me, man, this just sounds like you're asking for trouble. If your mom loves him, why can't she just be happy? And why can't I be happy for her? He's asking. Because Kyle, I know what he's really like. You know, I know that he could be using my mother and uh, to get to her fortune. God knows what he might do to get it from her. Then Kyle replies to me, that's true. I don't really like Clarence either. Uh, after I nearly punched that jerk at the coffee shop. I can relate that even two minutes in his presence is unbearable. He says, we're here at the spot. He's of course driving the car from the driver's seat. Uh, and then uh, basically I, I'd say next, uh, great. Now, I have to figure out how I'm going to get inside without getting us caught. Any ideas, guys? He suggests to us, you could always dress as a woman and, and say that you're a friend of the guest or a guest and then he goes no just no i mean that's gross uh, what about you kyle have any ideas I, I was gonna say that you can scale to the top of the building and try to squeeze into the ventilation system then you could find and i said nope i said nope because i'm claustrophobic i fear enclosed spaces and then Kyle suggests, I was going to say, then you can find. Nope. I tell him, I'm not doing any of what you suggested to me, Kyle. Quincy is over here talking about some nonsense wearing a dress. So just get out of the car. We get out the car, right? While I'm still thinking of a plan. Then I go, okay. So there are many ways that I can think of, but I know one. I know one of what I won't do. I'm not dressing up as a girl so I can sneak in there. And then the second one is I'm not climbing up the damn, I'm not climbing up the building then scaling in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably, you know, can't just ask uh, if I can come inside. So you know, I, it, it just needs to be something discreet, right? It, you know, it has to be something discreet yet not embarrassing. And so I, I'm saying maybe I can be a delivery man, okay? Or, or maybe I'm saying I'm delivering flowers for the bride to be. All right. He's like, you know, Keith Quincy's like, that sounds great. Where are you gonna get the flowers from, Leroy? And then I'm like, you know, I think those flowers in that garden over there just might work. Leroy, I, I just don't know about this man. Kyle stated. I say, it's okay. I, I know we'll I know we'll be fine. I was like, all right. But I feel like we're going to get caught by someone in there. And then I'm just like, maybe if, if we don't go in there tomorrow, that evil man will marry my mother. Quincy says to me, even if your apology is accepted, you know, I still think she'll marry Clarence tomorrow, uh, Quincy remarks. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Yeah, we will. We will see about that. Now I'm knocking on the door with a bouquet of flowers covering my face. Accompanying me to the front door was my two clown friends, Quincy and Kyle, who are also both holding bouquets of flowers in their hands, covering their faces as well. After a couple seconds of standing uh, and waiting at the door, you know, like a couple of knuckleheads, someone finally answers the door. Okay, here's the plot twist. Boy, were we were surprised by who answered it. Erica greets us. I reply, Erica, what are you doing here? She goes, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Who are you again? Quincy and Kyle look just as shocked as I am. Neither of them expected her to be there. It really surprises me that Kyle looks as 
or surprised as he does at that very moment. I was sent here to deliver flowers for the bridal shower. Someone said that a girl named Erica would be answering the door. Yeah, well, looks like I'm Erica. Who's coming? Say, tell her here. Thank you. And then I tell the fellas, come on in, fellas. Come on in. The three of us are walking inside the place right now and still with the flowers covering our faces. I think we fooled Erica. But I'm not one for enjoying my mother's parties. I must say though, I must say this bridal shower looks ridiculously awesome. Ridiculously awesome. Okay, so, I mean, they got, they got portable hot tubs here. <laughs> I even think my mom brought a fer Ferris wheel, you know, and thought she was keeping in storage, basically. She brought it out for this event right here. I haven't been on that Ferris wheel in eight years, I remark. Kyle says, what? I used to ride and think of that all the time when I was younger. You know, that my mother put it up and she got a divorce from my father at Ferris wheel. What's the link? Thank you, we're, we're sorry we interrupted your, your fun, I say. We got it from here though, and we'll let ourselves out. No, you didn't bother me. I was just headed to the restroom before you came in. Tell her, pretending not to know the, the full schematic of that house. Oh yes, I see, this is quite the big house. You could get lost in here and almost never find a bathroom. Knowing good and full well where it is, but it is pretty big. You can get lost in a house this big. That's right. Uh, what'd you say your name was again? I never said my name. I never said my name. <laughs> of course you didn't, silly. But what is your name? My name, my name is, is... My, my name, name is... Slim. Quincy Others. Yeah, my, my name is Slim. Slim, that, that's the name people call me. Slim is what I go by. Oh, really? Slim? Yeah. yeah, my name is Slim. Folks call me that and that's what I go by. Oh, really? Slim? Yeah? Well, can I ask you a question? You just really? did, but you can ask another. <laughs> Thanks. Well, do you have a girlfriend? Kyle murmurs. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Actually, I do have a girlfriend. Actually, I do have a girlfriend. That's too bad, Slim, because I thought we'd be good for each other. Wait, uh, really? I, doesn't a fine girl like you have a boyfriend who's a nice fellow? <laughs> yeah, but he's too nice. I want something different. You haven't seen my face, ma'am. I listened to your voice and I fell in love. You haven't even seen my face yet, ma'am. I know. That's why I'm curious. Now put the flowers in the face so I can see if that voice and body matches what that face looks like. I can't do that. I can't do that. Your voice and I fell in love. Just can't. I can't, I can't do that. Why not? To me, you're already a 10 out of 10. Wait, I, I just can't. Hmm? If you do, I'll give you a kiss. Sorry, I... Sorry, I'm saying to her. That's it. I've had it. Kyle yells and has everyone at the party shook. He drops the flowers down, revealing his true identity. I knew it! Erica exclaims. Ah, uh, crap. Quincy says. I knew it! I knew it! 
Why? Kyle, why, man? I'm shouting at I knew this in the whole time. Women come rushing into the hallway where Erica and the boys and I were located. I was embarrassed, to say the least. Quincy and I decided it was time to give up the act and put down the flowers.